Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to create studio lighting setup in Maya 2017 using Arnold Render Engine. The final output is look like this. I hope you like it. Stay tuned. Before that, if you won't subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on this red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. We post weekly free videos about Maya 2017, Arnold, modeling, texturing and lighting. So if you won't subscribe, click this red color subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Ok, here we have simple scene setup. It's really a basic model. So I will use this poly cylinder to model this one I will extrude scale this edge and add some thickness for our top region so this is glass material you really need some thickness for this object and here we have two spheres it's use polygons so this is really basic shape and this one is a Noobs model. I will use CV Cow tool to model this one, and I have some polyplane for our backdrop. It's a really basic scene. Now we need to start our studio lighting setup. Before that, you need to set our camera view. It's really important. Click spacebar in Hebo. That means you got view four viewports. Here I need to set my camera view. I will click and drag over here and i will have two objects sorry two viewports now i need to set my camera view over here go to rendering click on create cam now click it automatically created in center of grid press r and scale bit here i need to set two things before that go to panels perspective and choose camera one i will adjust my camera like this Go to view camera settings and choose over scan, view camera settings and choose resolution gate. I need to adjust my camera so I really focus on my this objects, this three object. Don't bother about this one. So I need to set like this. I will click on lock cam. So that means you cannot able to move this viewport. Now we need to start our studio lighting setup. You need to set three area lights for our studio lighting. So go to rendering and click on area light. It will automatically create an center of grid. Press R and scale big and scale in Y like this and press E and rotate Y to minus 90. You need to set our first light on our left side. So this is our key light. So when the area light selected, I want to rename my light as key underscore area light one. When the area light selected, go to Arnold and choose Arnold render view. In default, it will be render our perspective shape. I need to render my camera shape. So I will select camera shape one. Now when the area light selected, now I need to increase my exposure, go to attributes, expand this Arnold tab and give exposure at least 12 like this. Ok, now our light will be perfectly set over here. Now I need to duplicate this one, select this light and press Ctrl D to duplicate. I want to set another light on this, this side. Now press E and rotate Y to minus 270. So that means it exactly set on the side. I want to select this light and rename as fill1. One. Fill1 one underscore area light. I go my attributes. See here it has two side intents but 
have same values I need to decrease my fill light values so I will select this light and give exposure to 8 or 9.5 so this is how high intense example exposure to 12 it has low intense exposure to 9.5 this is sun fill light I want another fill light press ctrl D to duplicate I want to move this one over here and press E and rotate in Z rotate in Z sorry rotate in X minus 90 and press W I want to move in Y like this you need to keep this one as top so same exposure as 9.5 so as 9.5 so now we perfectly set our studio lighting setup we now we need to apply some material for this object so this one is the glossy object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard and choose color to dark gray so like this don't give pure black so I will give 90% black and give specular weight to 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 and give roughness to 0 0.1 ok it's render completed now it looks and glossy object you also able to see our studio lighting setup on this reflection now this one is the chrome object I will select this object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard and rename this object as chrome underscore AI standard and I didn't want any diffuse contribution so I will give diffuse color all the way to 0 and diffuse weight to 0 I want specular weight to 1 and give roughness to 0 point sorry roughness to 0 so that means it will act as a pure chrome ok so now you able to see here we have a pure chrome material applied to the sphere now finally we need to apply an glass material for this object I will select this object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard ok uh, here I didn't want any diffuse contribution so I will drag all the way to black and also diffuse weight to 0 I want specular weight to 1 and roughness to 0 here you need to turn on this Fresnel so when you turn on this Fresnel the reflection only happen on this corner now I give reflectance at normal at least 0 0.1 ok now we this is a glass material that means you need to increase expand this refraction tab and give refraction weight to 1 and also give index of refraction to 1.5 so that means you got a pure glass material and give little bit of transmittance color so I will give little bit of sky blue which over here ok I will give pure glass material and give index of refraction to 1.5 but here we facing some problem of black over here because we didn't see our backdrop so I will keep this image for comparison click a store a snapshot button now it will be happened by our render settings go to render settings and view Arnold renderer expand this ray depth you need to view refraction at least to 5 
okay it's render completed now that black region will be gone when we increase our refraction so i will click the snow store a snapshot button so our snapshot will be stored i will select my previous snapshot when we give refraction to 2 the black region will be happen over here in this snapshot we increase refraction to 5 the black will be gone you also able to see our backdrop so this is really we need now i give some backdrop color so i will close my render settings and select my backdrop and choose assign new material and choose arnold right click and choose assign new material and choose arnold ai standard I want to rename this object as backdrop zero backdrop underscore a standard like this. Now I will uh, select this diffuse, expand this diffuse in color option. I need to apply and RAM. Click on this checker and go to 2D texture. You need to apply and RAM. I will uncheck this eye to render our current frame so see here it will looks full black so I will select this black color and choose as little bit of orange over here so like this so that means it has orange to white in our VRAM ok now we have nice backdrop over here so it looks great now I need to take my final render so I will close my Arnold render view go to render settings I need to go to common tab and here you need to choose renderable camera as camera 1 I need to render my full HD so I will view HD 1080 but I open my Arnold render view so here we have some uh, noise over here so I will press shift in keyboard and click on drag so that means it will render the specified region so I will zoom in a little bit ok here you are able to see we facing lot of noise so it will be happened by our area light First of all, I will close my Arnold render view and I will close my render settings. I will select my area light and give samples to 5 or 6. So it will take a little bit of render time but our render will be nice and clean without noise. So I will select my all area lights and give samples at least 6. So all three area lights I will give samples to 6 and go to render settings in common tab I will choose my renderable camera as camera 1 and also I will render as full HD if you have low configuration PC you will keep this same HD 540 so I need to render my full HD so I will give HD 1080 that means 1920 into 1080 so I will close my render settings now I open my Arnold render view again now it start rendering our full HD image ok it's render completed now you able to see when we increase our area light samples so the image will be nice and clean without any noise but it also takes little bit of render time so this is the way to use studio lighting setup in Maya 2017 or not. Now I preview my final file over here. I hope you like it. I see you on next project. Click subscribe button to subscribe our YouTube channel. We always need your support to create high quality content further. So please subscribe. Click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model and texture the magnifying glass in Maya 2017 using Arnold Render Engine.